Hey, what's going on? You're watching Hip Hop Week. You can follow me at Jet Wavy on Instagram at Jet underscore Wavy. Follow me on Facebook at Jet Wavy. Shout out to Hip Hop Weekly. Y'all turk, man. Y'all lit, man. Y'all got my love, man. Appreciate y'all support. Gang, gang, gang. Hip hop weekly cover, hip hop weekly cover, hip hop weekly cover, 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 cover. Okay, hip hop weekly all access. This is Brianna, and we're here live today with the one and only Jet Wavy. How's What's it going? going on? What's going on? How you doing today? I'm good, I'm good. Welcome That's to Hip Hop good. Weekly. That's good, man. I'm doing good too. I'm blessed. Definitely, definitely. You're looking, you're looking blessed over there too. Thank you, thank you, thank yeah. you. Well, okay. introduce yourself. Um, my name is Jet Wavy. I'm an actor and comedian. Um, I'm in Atlanta, Georgia. That's where I grew up and I was raised. Um, Southside, College Park area, um, Riverdale, you know what I'm saying? So that's where I pretty much grew up. Um, I was born in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. So shout out to Philly. I guess, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Philly. They won the Super Bowl, so I be, you know what I'm saying, flip flopping sometimes, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, shout out to Philly. And then um, from there, I moved to Jacksonville, Florida. So I grew up a, a lot of my years, my younger years in uh, Florida. So yeah, Jacksonville, Florida, got a lot of my love too. Okay. All right. So I see here that you, you know, you're you're definitely an entertainer. Yeah. Um. You do, you know, you, you skits, uh, comedian. Yep. You know, the list goes on and on. Uh, what inspired you to just, you know, even get into being an entertainer? Uh. Well, I would say since I was young, I've been kind of like funny or just entertaining in some way. I just didn't know when I was young that I would end up doing this for a living as a career. Um, so since I was probably like maybe like four or five, I'd just be doing little stuff. Uh, I always used to like be, um, you know, like little Easter plays in church. I was always a kid that had to go up there and speak, you know, last and people give me like round of applause, you know what I'm saying? So you know, since that time, like growing up in the church and all that and doing little performances and little plays and stuff, you know what I'm saying? I kind of like knew that it was something there because every time I would like do little stuff like people just always be like man you know you did a good job like you know you're gonna be somebody you know what I'm saying so from there I just kind of like feel like uh, I kind of followed my passion because I also went to school um, I went to Albany State University mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying so I was in college for a little bit too and um, I feel like there that's why I really just kind of told myself like yeah you can do this full time Come. did you um take up like like drama or anything like that? Nah, I taught myself. What's oh, that's okay. crazy thing? That's what I'm saying. Like me, me being um, younger, I think that um, we didn't have YouTube and social media right. and all this stuff now. Like Instagram, we didn't have all of that. So a lot of our time, like we used to just have fun, like with your friends, or just go outside, or you just, you know, what I'm saying, go to a party or something. So I feel like a lot of my comedy comes from just living life. You know, what I'm saying, not necessarily having to be in a play or like you know uh, having that experience. I feel like I taught myself through life. How to act, you know what I'm saying? Like just mm -hmm. a lot of things I've been through. So I feel like um, like when it comes to comedy, I'm 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 a master at portraying things in life. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Versus like saying I had to go to an acting class to learn how to actually act, which I do want to do. Okay. I go there. Okay. So where do you get some of your you know comedy inspirations from? And you know, who are some of the biggest influences that you you know you look up to? Uh, most definitely Dave Chappelle, Jim Carrey at the top, you know what I'm saying? They the goats. And I feel like a lot of the times, I, the stuff I do right now, to this day, is still influenced by them. Um, Chappelle definitely just came out on fire, you know what I'm saying? His career, the way he did it. Um, Chappelle show, of course, everybody loves Chappelle show, you know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. you know, that's one of my favorite shows of all time. Like, so mm -hmm. just growing up under that, Jim Carrey, just being Jim Carrey, like, you gotta like Jim Carrey, you know what I'm saying? The mask, right. you know, all the hits he gave us, you know what I'm saying? Dumb and Dumber, my favorite movie of all time, you know what I'm saying? So, like, those are my biggest inspirations when I say, like, just had an impact on me, you mm -hmm. feel me? Mm -hmm. um, Chris Tucker also, Chris Tucker. Everybody love Chris Tucker, you know what I'm saying? The people that you just right. gotta love, you know what I'm saying? The influence so. Right. Yeah, man, um, they, they, they kind of like, you know, when I was younger, I kind of like saw them doing it, and I was always wondering, like, how are they so funny? Like, what's, like, how, you know, you see the mask, it's like, you see the mask, and it's like, this character is just, he like a cartoon, you know what I'm saying? It's like, like he's real, you know what I'm saying? So I just always just be like, man, how do you do that? Like, you know, but eventually I got, you know, I got you know, to it myself, mm -hmm. and I kind of realized that, you know, it's more so the video side of it, the visuals, uh, getting to film. Um, I probably should have took a mass communication in school. I probably should have. But, um, yeah, just, just, just having an eye for 
that that video production that um I guess that magic it's like you gotta have mm. magic you right. know what I'm saying those those people when they on camera they they light it up you know what I'm saying right and it's something about them but you just, I had to figure it out you know what I'm saying so they influenced me a lot I still watch them here to this day I watch his movies all the time I watch Chris Tucker money talks all the time my favorite movie you know what I'm saying um Chappelle just seen his DVD special right you feel me. Right. Just, you know what I'm saying? Talking We're just about talking about it, right? Yeah, like Dave Chappelle, like he just gonna tell how it is. People just got respect it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, Absolutely. He just telling <laughs> exactly the truth, and if you can't take it or you can't find it, you know what I'm saying? Laugh at it and don't listen to it. Like he said, right. you, you won't click on it, man. You know right. Saying? Right. Yeah. Do you see yourself doing stand up? Yeah, most definitely. I definitely want to do stand up. And it was crazy for the past, like since I got on the internet, um, mm -hmm. in, like 2016, since I started doing videos and stuff in 2016. Everybody's been asking me to do stand up, mm -hmm. but I but I had to make a decision. I had to make like a conscious decision. Like, what is it I really am here for? Like, what am I really here to do? You know what I'm saying? I feel like I was like kind of like just trying to find my purpose in life. You know, as a young man, you know what I'm saying? I kind of like found purpose in um, acting more so than stand up. You know what I'm saying? Comedy and things like that. And I, I think I incorporated comedy into my acting. You know what I'm saying? More mm -hmm. so than it was comedy stand up first. And mm -hmm. I'll be like, now I do want to dive into stand up and kill it. I know I'm killing. Like I know every time I go on stage, I already know I'm gonna say something funny. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I definitely want to do stand up. Um, like I said Dave Chappelle being my biggest influence. Um, Richard Pryor. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just all the greats. Bernie Mac. Bernie Mac mm -hmm. slept on man. I miss Bernie Mac. You feel me? Yeah, right. I love Bernie Mac. Like he definitely all his stand up deal. He really, all them. Yeah, I grew up on all that. So. Um, I definitely see stand for my future. I just wanted to solidify myself in acting. I think people see me more so as an actor than a, a comedian. comedian first. Right? Okay. Like I'm, I'm cold with that acting. You know? Okay. Because yeah. uh, I was gonna mention, I seen an interview <clears throat> a while back that you know one of the legends, Lunell, said yeah. about Instagram yeah. comedians. She was saying, yeah. in other words, she's not knocking you guys yeah. for what you do, but she was like mm -hmm. pretty much saying like. Uh, are y'all really ready for the big stage? To right. can can you project that ener that same energy, you know, on the stage on the like stage, you do yeah. on Instagram? Well, I'm gonna say this: I ain't no Instagram comedian. I, I got I gotta say that I ain't no Instagram comedian. I'm an actor slash comedian. I feel like there is a label that it's just like calling somebody uh, a mama rapper. Like you mm -hmm. can, there are mama rappers. I'm just not Instagram comedian. I feel like I'm more so like actor. You see what I'm saying? So I feel like through Instagram and through. Um, Buying and all that stuff, I feel like my acting just got caught notice. I feel like now there is a label, an like Instagram comedian. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't be an mm -hmm. Instagram comedian. There's people that they only put videos out on Instagram. That's the only way we ever saw them. You know what I'm saying? They only went viral on Instagram. Me, see, I was doing this stuff like way before, so I feel like it was more so about me, like just having a passion for acting. Now, what I will say though is that she does have some um, some truth to what she said though, because like you gotta think like. A lot of them people like they just doing skits. You know what I'm saying? When you take that to the big stage, you gotta come with it. You know what I'm saying? These folks is not playing. When you in a room with uh, 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 Leonardo DiCaprio, when you in a room with uh, uh, Johnny Depp, them folks not playing with you. You feel me? They gonna come in and they gonna bring in Will Smith. Not gonna play. You come in the audition room. You already know you ain't got the role. We might as well go and act it up. You know what I'm saying? So I be sitting like that. You feel me? So I'm like. Like so, when I know that you on that level, like you, you I'm, that's what I'm stepping into. I ain't, I ain't stepping into it like half ass. I'm looking at it like, let me go all into it. But like I say acting, so I feel like I'm more so like movies. You see what I'm saying? Then just sitting on stage, just talking. But I can't do that. You see what I'm saying? I can, I can do mm -hmm. both. I just mm -hmm. want to master one, one craft first. Okay, and so you're master. Oh, but also too, she ain't me cut you off. But look, also too, I want to say what she said though, because I didn't hear. I seen that right, interview, right? And it was, and it was a good interview, and. Thing is, was I think what the point she was making is that you know what I'm saying just don't be scared to take your craft from Instagram somewhere else to another platform to other platform. I just want to say that, yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's exactly what she was yeah. saying. Okay, cool. So you said you want to pretty much perfect one, and you're you know, and you want that to be acting. Mm -hmm. Okay. So who are some of your you know inspirations as far as actors? Because you, you Jim Carrey is a comedian slash right. actor. Right. So, is that kind of like how you want to, you know, jump yeah, into I mean, it? Uh, him, I mean, he was like Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy, Mark right. Lawrence. Yep. Like, I wouldn't say that they just were comedians. I mean, they, they kind of killed the whole aspect of just entertainment. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So, I would say, like, my biggest inspirations were the people that were on television during the 90s, during the 80s. You know what I'm saying? Like, I go back and look at all that. You know what I'm saying? I just look at who was really relevant, who was really popular, who changed the culture. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like even musicians, Michael Jackson, 
You see what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. I get inspiration from everybody. Mm-hmm. I watch everything. I, I, I observe everything. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, just from rappers, it, it, it doesn't matter how they made an impact. I feel like if you made an impact, I saw it. And I feel like then that's where my, my inspiration come from. I draw, I draw from everything. I feel like I'm, I might be on some Michael Jackson stuff sometimes. You feel me? Like, right. for real. You know, especially with the, uh, the new powers, you know what I'm saying, dancing and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. I'll be mean, like, sometimes I have to tap into Michael Jackson. You know what I'm right. saying? So, like, my energy be, I, I just I just admire life. Just mm-hmm. period. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> I get inspiration from acting from, man. I, I'll tell you who's doing a good job right now acting. I like power. I like power. So I like who, a snowball. Huh? You, you say you're going to tell me who, who does a good job at it? Yeah, I'm saying y'all saying I, I was saying like power, like the actors on power. Oh, okay. Like uh, the uh, what's the white dude, dude name? Tommy. Mm-hmm. Like he just a good actor to me. Like he when I see his stuff, I be like, you know what I'm saying? He made me like want to go and do something. You know what I'm saying? Like acting wise, you know? him. Um, just a lot of other people, man. I mean, I, I understand the name people, but you know, just like when I see new stuff now, I judge it based on the old stuff. And so if it makes me feel like you know what I'm saying, you're doing a good job, I feel like it's that's good. So uh. What's one of the most uh, memorable, memorable, and one of the most funniest skits you've done so far that just made you just like, oh my god, I killed it. You got to give me an oh, example of okay. one that you've I, done so I far. Got top, okay, I'll just do a quick top five. I do. Uh, it's when I'm walking. I had long hair. My hair was like right here, so I look like Boosie Collins and just Mac Dre or somebody. You know what I'm saying? I had big old afro, and I knew me being skinny. I knew that. You know, so I played it to my <laughs> my advantage. <laughs> So I was walking, I was I told my homeboy one day, I was just like, uh, record me walking with a dandelion with this afro. And so I'm just walking and I was just walking delicately and the sun was just beaming just perfectly. And I feel like everybody when they seen that video, that video went viral. That video was like got millions of people hit me up today. It's like, bro, repost that video. And it was uh to that uh everything that I do is cause I love you. La, 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 la. So I'm walking with the little thought with the big afro. That's one of them. Um, definitely the Blue Power Ranger uh, to Future Married to the Game. That's a classic. You know what I'm saying? That's what really blew me up. Um, mm-hmm. Like overnight, I went from like 10k to like 150k. Like overnight, I ain't never seen nothing like you know nothing like that ever. Like so um, that video, and um, I'll say probably like the one everybody just like. I just did one with the snuggest bug in the rug, where the girl was laying on top of me, and then she rolled off of me, and I was under her. And she was kind of, you know what I'm saying, like plus size, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know, she was plus size, so when she rolled off me, I was like, oh, snug as a bug in a rug, you feel me? <laughs> but everybody remember that line, you know what I'm saying, little stuff like that, you feel me? Um, let me see, and uh, I'll probably get one more, like, uh, what's the video everybody just be talking to me about? Like, uh, maybe another Power Ranger video, the one with the, uh, where I'm hitting the girl with the pillow, and we in the bed, that, that one really, like, took it to another level also. That's they showed down Jerry Spring, they showed that video. What inspired you to um to to just create or just do not create but get into the Power Ranger theme? Um, dancing. I was already dancing. Mm-hmm. I was in Riverdale. I had dropped out of school. I ain't had nothing. Okay? So I was like, I I gotta do something. And you feel me? What do I do best? I like I used to be a class clown, I used to be doing something, you know what I'm saying, around comedy. So I was like, I'm gonna just dance. And so I just knew that when nobody dancing in the streets, like you see people dance all the time, you might see somebody dancing from a store, dancing up here, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like at a concert, you know what I'm saying? But dancing in the streets, when nobody dancing in the streets, so I took dancing in the streets to a different level. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like me dancing in the streets, people just noticed that first. They saw me dancing in the streets. They like, who is this dude with this afro dancing in the streets? Uh-huh. I'm on the corner. I'm on. I'm at the gas station. I'm at the Kroger's. I'm at the Walmart. I'm, I'm here. I'm pulling up. I'm dancing with this big afro. Got got a little no, uh, notoriety online. My friend gave so me. So did somebody record you, or you recorded? Yeah, them? I had a friend record me. Okay. You know what I'm saying rest in peace to my friend Jamar Hall. You know what I'm saying, but my um from there I had another friend who gave me the power to suit as I was already dancing. So my buzz was already blowing up on Vine. I was already on Vine, like getting millions of views outside. There was no power ranking before that. All the time I'm walking with the dandy line. I'm just doing stuff, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm dancing all crazy, you know what I'm saying? Just <laughs> anything, you know what I'm saying? Think of. So people just seeing it, they like, oh man. So when I threw the power ranger suit on, I think the power ranger's already been that big and their brand already been as kind of like as big as it is. You know, everybody, you know, like power ranger from the 90s on up, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like from that point on, I already had something good and I feel like that brand just merged it together. You know what I'm saying? Okay. What I was doing, I feel like that was God. You know what I'm saying? I feel like 
Yeah, that's how I got into the actual Power Ranger. You feel me? Definitely. Mm -hmm. So when you're not perfecting your craft, what mm -hmm. do you like to do in your spare time? Well, um, honestly, I ain't like to. I like to read. I like to read. I like to research. I do a lot of research, extensive research. You know what I'm saying? Um, people may not think that. You know what I'm saying? Like, bless you. But um, people may not think like, you know, just because they see my skits, like I be on some like smart stuff. But I'm really like, you know what I'm saying? Smart, smart individual. I'm like slick and jeans. Mm -hmm. So I be like, I sit and I just research for like times and times at a, at a time. You know what I'm mean? Like, so I like to do stuff that people normally should do, but they probably won't take the time to do. Like meditate, like mm -hmm. sun gaze. You feel me? Like. Take care of your body for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, really, like, I be on some, like, you know what I'm saying? Really trying to have longevity in life, period. I be working, like, trying to find out the keys to life. You know what I'm saying? The, 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 the law of nature, the law of uh, attraction, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, all these different things. That's what I be doing outside of just entertainment. You know what I'm saying? This is what I do in my spare times. I'm, I'm a student of okay. life. I'm a student of everything. I'm a student of just, like I said, nature. I'm, I'm getting back in tune, like, with my chakra, getting my chakras balanced. You know what I'm saying? I know people know about that, but. You know what I'm saying? Getting your chakras balanced, eating good, you feel me? Um, just becoming more socially conscious and getting more free. You know what I'm saying? Like tapping into my, my subconscious and, and understanding that there were a lot of things that have happened in the past that affect the future. And this and third, I read this book called The Master Key. You feel the Master Key System? Um, I think it's by Charles Hannum. And um, that book changed my life. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just understanding the mind and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm probably like about 80% there where I want to be as far as like being spiritually enlightened. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm on my gotcha. spiritual enlightenment tip. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So, definitely. Man. Just on my affirmation tip. Like, everything that come with that, like, I'm with all the positive, just positive vibes. Like I said, success. Like that. I don't have to talk about what I'm going to do. It's just going to happen. I feel like people just going to be like, wow, you know, he did his thing. Like, he had his run. And, you know what I'm saying? That boy doing his thing. He's streaking. I'm streaking. I'm hot streaking right now. <laughs> I feel like I'm streaking. I got some stuff in Instagram. I got some stuff in his Instagram. And I gotta let y'all know, let you know, Hip Hop Weekly here. First, you feel me? So I gotta say this. Man, the stuff I'm finna put on Instagram, I know it's lit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gotta watch it, y'all gotta share it, y'all gotta support it, you know what I'm saying? Because, like I said, when you get to the big screen, I want y'all to really enjoy just, to, you know what I'm saying, to see me come up, you know what I'm saying, doing this, man. Like, to see my story. Like, it's just crazy, like, how I just started and, like, how, how much success I've received off of this. I'm just so humble. Thankful, you feel me? Like I just be appreciative of my fans. Like I be appreciative, like just my, my friends that stayed down with me. I had friends that used to shoot my videos. They didn't want to shoot my videos. It was hot. It was bothering. I'm calling them all type of nights, keeping them up and stuff. I'm going to work and stuff. And now they have now seen me do something. So it's just now, like now. I, I, I appreciate this from like a whole different perspective, man. Like okay, crazy. I was gonna say are they acting funny now? <laughs> no, they, they, you know it's crazy. Like they not. I, okay. I got some real friends. Like it's okay. good that I got some good friends around me. Like good good people around me in my circle. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's a lot of people to name. You know what I'm saying? But uh, most like you know just like I, I feel like right now at this phase of my life, I told you about my spiritual enlightenment tip. I'm trying to take my craft. I'm trying to take acting and impact as many people as possible in a positive way. You feel me? I want to change lives. I want to touch people's hearts. I want to make people that's depressed. I mean, people hit me all the time like, man, I was depressed, bro. And I just watch your videos and you got me through that. But I know what they're going through. You know what I'm saying? I, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm the type of actor where I can really feel the person. You know what I'm saying? Right. I can understand what they're going through. And I can take that situation and, and bring it to life and make you laugh at it. You see what I'm saying? Like, right. make you laugh at your pain. You know what I'm saying? Because right. laughter is a drug. You feel me? Definitely. It's definitely. a drug. Yeah. Definitely. Best drug got the best thing smoking. You know what I'm talking about? Well, we do appreciate you for checking in and speaking to Hip Hop Weekly. Most definitely, man. Thank you, Hip Hop Weekly. Thank you for uh, inviting me. I appreciate y'all showing love. Appreciate y'all support, man. Y'all got my support. And that's what's up, man. No doubt. Most definitely, no doubt. All right.